In this video, we're going to show you how to diagnose the belt brake switch in your dryer. So you want to diagnose your belt brake switch. Your switch may look a little different than this one. Some manufacturers use this small micro switch style. Others you'll find are a bit longer and thicker, a bit more blockier. But in either case, this, the switch's idea is that it'll typically have just two wires going to it, one in and one out, and it doesn't matter if they're reversed or not. Um, so what you want to do is take your multimeter, you want to set your multimeter in a setting that you would use for continuity and ideally it's a meter that when you put your two probes together you'll get an audible sound such as that. So now you just want to take your multimeter, take your probes and put it on these contacts. Now you, we should be in a normal resting condition like this just reading our continuity as soon as we touch. And we do. We have our circuit and this switch is showing good. If we were to touch it and there was no sound, then the switch would be bad. Because what's happening with this little guy is when the belt breaks and the idler pulley slams down on your switch, it's actually going to open the circuit. And that's going to turn off your motor, turn off your heating system all at the same time. And you'll probably, if you're near your dryer, will have heard a loud bang. And that's when the belt actually broke and activated the switch. So that's how easy it is to diagnose the belt brake switch. 